that a spider? Okay, here we go. Welcome back. Hey guys, it's Stella. Thank you for coming back to my channel. This week, we're gonna be talking about long-term dieting versus short-term dieting. Um, first of all, make sure you hit the subscribe button to keep getting videos regularly in your notification bar. I'm doing a giveaway on my Instagram of something surprising, surprising. So go ahead and follow me at Superb Stella on Instagram. So thank you guys so much for coming back. Let's just get into it. First, I wanna talk about what dieting is. Dieting is, just kidding. I think dieting is altering the way you eat temporarily to achieve weight loss fast or in a moment. Man, I'm good. Long-term dieting to me is changing the way you eat and how you think of food to achieve a healthier body and a healthier meal on your plate. So first I wanna to touch on dieting. Things that come to mind when I diet is Beyonce's lemonade diet because I've tried that before. The one where you drink lemonade, cayenne pepper, and grade B maple syrup for like three days and it tastes disgusting after the first day. You do it and you do drop a lot of weight but it's cause you're not eating anything. You're just eating some cayenne pepper and drinking some green tea at night and pooping. It's like a cleanse really. The second diet that comes to mind is the military diet. I found out about this diet because my sister used to do pageants way years ago and she did it. And I revisited the idea on the cheat tip, his YouTube page, he has this video on, he, he did the military diet, lost weight, it was successful, yes, but eating a low restricted calorie diet should be monitored. Just another quick, fast way for you to lose weight and nothing that's really gonna sustain you every single week. I've heard other fad diets that I don't even wanna put into people's minds right now, so I'm gonna just leave it at those two. Point of them being is that they're quick to achieve fast results in that instance. In long-term dieting, you really understand what food does. You learn how foods work together, like your proteins, your carbs, your starches, your portions, you just learn actually why you're even eating as a human and you begin to develop your own sense of a diet that is good with your life, um, your your own calorie goals, your own restrictions, you know, you discover more about what food is and its purpose, not just the emotional string you've connected it with. I get to have more of the things I want because I'm not restricting myself. The catch, there is a catch. Yes, there is. I'm not losing weight as fast. When I used to fat diet and lose 10 pounds a week and I was just shedding it off, that makes you wanna do those again. That makes you want to like go back to that and lose your 10 pounds a week again. But what I realized is when those fat diets don't work and you binge eat because it didn't work, you're gaining all that weight back plus some. Moral of the story is long-term dieting is better because your results tend, tend, to last longer because you've put in mental work. And I feel like this is actually going to stick other than the fad diets I was doing. So I couldn't be more grateful. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for videos every week. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts about you fad dieting or dieting in general. And I hope you have the great rest of your next week. And as always, love Stella. But her name is Sorry. I pimp, I don't play with them.